Just wanted to go over the tried test. It'll, it'll be in your program. And just want to explain a little bit on a whiteboard rather than just a video with it that doesn't really explain. So what you're going to do, you will pair up in pairs of two. You'll have a runner and a spotter. The spotter needs some kind of cone. It doesn't have to necessarily be a cone. It can be a piece of tape. It can be a shoe, whatever, just something to mark with. And you need a distance of 20 yards. I got goal line and 20 yard line, but I know y'all are in Kansas, so it may be cold, snowing, whatever, so you may not be able to actually get outside, but just get a distance of 20 yards wherever you can get it. Pair up in pairs of two. The runner's gonna start on the goal line. The spotter's gonna be with a cone to the side of them. You're gonna be given five seconds. We generally have our coaches start and stop the five seconds. Ready, set, go then hit them with a whistle when they hit five seconds on the stopwatch. If you have a timing system, that's even better. Uh, so you'll start on the goal line, you'll sprint to the 20, and as far back as you can in that five seconds. When coach gives you the marker that it's been five seconds, your spotter with the cone will put it wherever you got to in that five second time period. You're then gonna rest 25 to 35 seconds, depending on your position. And that's the same rest period that you'd get in a football game generally. So we're trying to make this a little sport specific with our conditioning instead of just lining up and running. This will get you a little more ready to play the actual game. And after that rest period's over, you run another rep. If you beat it, your, par your partner will move the cone up. If you miss it, your partner will move the cone back where you got to. You're not going to beat it every time, but your goal is if it moves back, all right, now I'm trying to beat my new marker. Or if it moves up, now I'm trying to catch that marker. And so you just move the cone with each rep. We'll generally start small, six to eight reps, and then we'll build up from there. That simulates just six to eight plays. All right, and we'll build up from there as we go. Uh, look forward to working with you. Please let me know if you have any questions.